Hey, how's it going everybody? My name's Kevin. Um, today we're gonna be going through the install for the 2015 to current F-150 radar blind spot system. Um, it's a new vehicle specific system we have obviously for the F-150. Um, it's gonna make the install a lot easier uh, and a lot faster. So uh, to get started, this is what we're gonna need. I have a drill with a 1 8 drill bit and a 9 16 We'll be using those um, in different parts of the install, but you will need both of those. I also have a, a hand screwdriver for uh, hand tightening all of our um, hardware connections. Um, you're also going to need some zip ties, uh, some masking tape, some electrical tape, a rotary cutting tool. I have um, an air Dremel, uh, that's what I'm going to be using today. Um, also a BCM safe voltmeter and a panel popper. Um, as long as you have what's laying in front of me right here, uh, you'll have everything that you need for the install. So let's get it started. Okay, so we're on the passenger side of the truck, uh, the side that we're going to end up mounting the ECU on. But before we do that, we're going to have to run some harnesses to the other side, but we're going to leave the bulk of this big giant harness um, over here on the passenger side. Uh, it's actually, if you look, you can see this is also on the same harness as what we're going to end up running all the way down the driver's side of the vehicle. So we're going to leave the bulk of it over here, but we are going to end up running the two longest harnesses that are connected, or portions of the harness that are connected. Um, we're going to take our wire connection portion, we're going to run that um, all under the dash, uh, underneath the center console, and over to the driver's side, I mean passenger side, uh, BCM. And then we're going to take our HMI connection, we're actually going to run it up across the dash, and uh, we're going to get it set up in that pillar for later on uh, when it's time to mount the HMIs. All right, so we're back over on the passenger side. I've already routed my HMI connector up across the dash and into my uh, passenger side pillar. So that's ready for me when it's time. And now it's time to make the connections to the park lights, both left and right blinker and the reverse lights. So I'm gonna make all those connections over here in the passenger BCM. So we're gonna go ahead and get that taken care of uh, and then we'll be moving on. Okay, so we've already made those signal connections over in the passenger side. They're all taken care of. Now it's time to get the ECU mounted underneath the dash. Uh, and move on with the install. So like I said, there's only one connection with the with the ECU. So we're gonna go ahead and mount it, get it where we know we can uh, kind of fit it, um, and then connect our interior harness, and then we'll keep going. All right, so we've gotten the ECU kind of hidden away and, and, and tucked up, mounted up underneath the dash here. Um, now we're ready to move on to the next step. Okay, so now you've seen where we've mounted the ECU. So all I've done since then is uh, one, made the connection with the, with the main connector into the ECU. I've also run the shorter of the HMI connectors just up through the dash and now I got I have it hanging just in my other pillar just ready for me when uh when it's time to start working on the HMIs um, and I've also grabbed power and ground that's laid out on the second page of your instructions as well as the, uh, the signal connections as well um, so those are going to be at the ignition switch and then obviously a clean chassis ground so from there now that we have all that taken care of I'm going to start running the bulk of the actual radar connector down the panels here on the side, out the back of the cab. So you're gonna find yourself a hole, you're gonna have to peel back your lining back there, find yourself a hole in the back of the cab, and then I'm gonna end up running it down along the chassis, and then we're gonna, we're gonna pick it up over there once I have that taken care of. Okay, so I've ran the main portion of the chassis harness, I ran it down the uh, driver's side of the vehicle, got it out the cab, I zip tied it along the frame, I just followed the factory harnesses and zip tied them to that. So now I'm all the way at the back, I'm ready to go. So now I have my radar connector. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna connect that for now and then I'm gonna leave it. Uh, and now we're gonna move on to uh, modifying our bumper cover for the housing. Okay, so now it's time to prep our bumper covers for our housing bases. Um, so I, I, I brought it to the table today so we can get a little bit better view, a um, little bit easier to work. You don't need to take your bumper cover off for this portion of the installation. This is absolutely something you can do with it still attached to the vehicle. Uh, but for demonstration purposes, I got to sit up on this table for now. So what we're going to do, um, I now ha I have my uh, 1 8 drill bit. That's going to be for drilling our uh, pilot holes for our connections. And then I also have my Dremel for cutting out this main hole here for the connector for the radar. So the easiest way to do this is actually just grab a couple pieces of masking tape uh, not noted in the instructions. And then we're just going to really delicately, like I've already done, um, fill in all these grooves because the bottom of our base has those positive locators to get just the right placement. So just be very tedious on this portion. Make sure you're getting nice and uh, nice clean um, attachment to the base, I mean to your bumper cover, and then uh, we're going to use that to draw a stencil. So I'm going to take care of that and we'll show you what it looks like.
Okay, so I've used my base to sketch out my uh, connector hole here, and I've also used my base to just draw some or um, do some quick touches with the uh, eighth inch drill bit. So now I'll finish up these drill holes, make them nice and clean, and then go ahead and use my Dremel tool to cut out that connector hole. And, uh, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so now that you know what modifying the bumper looks like, uh, we showed you on the bench. We've got uh, the actual bumper cover for our pickup, uh, all modified, holes cut, drills um, drilled out and ready for mounting. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of that, show you what that looks like after the, after the fact, and then we'll move on. Okay, so we've got the bases mounted. Couple of quick notes for that whole process. Um, before we ever tried to mount the Raiders, we obviously drilled our pilot holes. When you're doing that, you wanna make sure we're actually gonna be drilling into a metal plate that's underneath the bumper cover. Um, that's gonna give us a nice, steady, sturdy hold for this base. Um, so when you're going to actually install the screws and, and tighten them down, I highly recommend you hand tighten. You will actually uh, warp your bumper if you over drill with the drill, which is very easy to do. Um, so definitely suggest drill your pilot holes, make sure they're nice and straight up and down and then hand tighten your long screws to actually attach uh, your base to your bumper cover. Um, so now we're gonna move on to mounting the, or hooking, wiring up the radars and getting them mounted to our bases. Okay, now we're back behind the bumper with the radar wiring. So like we did earlier, I have my main chassis harness here and I've already connected it to my radar pigtail. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna route our shorter one up into this bumper here. We've already modified it. I'm sorry, up into this side of the bumper here. And then we're obviously gonna run our longer one over to that side and uh, route these pins through that holes where we'll make our pin connections to the connectors included in the kit. All right, so I've taken my pins and inserted them into my connector here using uh, page two of the, or I'm sorry, page four of the instructions laid out right there for you. So um, you're gonna make sure you wanna insert them all the way in. You'll hear a, a very audible click. Once you hear that click, you know that they're inserted properly. And then what you'll do is you'll just uh, push this white face down, hear that click, it'll lock it in place. Uh, now the connector is ready for the radar, right? So we're gonna go do that to the other side and then we'll move into mounting the radars onto the bases. Okay, so I've, uh, I've connected my connector to my radar. Now I'm just gonna tuck in all that slack, and position the connector right in that hole that we cut out. And then I'm gonna attach the three screws included in the kit, six total, three for each side. Two longer screws are gonna go on the bottom here and then one shorter screw uh, holding up that top bracket. So we're gonna go ahead and get that taken care of and then we'll move on. Okay, so I've got the radar mounted and attached. Um, I used a screwdriver for that portion of it. Like I said, I didn't want to strip out that plastic. Um, so I was nice and delicate, got a, got a snug, uh, snug attachment there. So last step, snap on your top cover and we should be all good to go. There it is. So now we'll go back up front. Okay, so now we're moving on to the HMI installation. Um, I already had my pillar panels uh, pulled when I ran my HMI uh, harnesses. So I've got those pulled. I've gone ahead and uh, put two very, very, as, as even as I can get them marks on my pillars, they will be across the car. So as even you can get them, they'll end up looking okay. Um, I've already mocked up and made sure that I can see these, uh, these two marks from uh, the driver's position uh, and that they won't be, you know, clouded up by anything or uh, you know covered up. So I know that these are good spots. I picked a flat area so that the HMIs sit nice and flush against the plastic um, and they're also in a nice visible location. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna show you on this little piece, uh, scrap of piece plastic that I got here, how they're gonna go together. So once the hole is drilled into your uh, panel there, they're just gonna sit in this hole nice and flush. And then on the back side, what we're gonna do once we're, we have them in the vehicle is we're gonna get these two, we get these two lock washers in there. So they'll actually be, they have these little tabs and they're beveled one direction. So we want that to be up or I guess away from the HMI, I would say. Um, and then we'll just go over um, our little connector and then you'll kind of just wedge it down. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna hold your HMI nice and snug against your panel. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my holes cut, uh, get them placed in there, route my harnesses through them. And, uh, and we'll get them taken care of. Okay, so I've done a, just kind of put this in clips. I haven't uh, fully attached it yet, but as you can see, I got my HMI mounted. Um, I'm liking where it's at, so I'm gonna pull the pillar back off, uh, put in my lock washer, and then reattach, put in my bolts, and they'll be all good to go. Uh, and then we'll move on to the last few parts of the uh, installation. 
Okay, we're on the last few steps of the install. So I got two more components here. One, the buzzer, so that when you're uh, changing lanes while there's someone in your blind spot, this will let you know, keep you safe. And then the last portion is our OBD2 connector. So this is what's gonna give us our speed data. Um, so we're gonna make these connections. One, we have a brown and blue wire coming right off the ECU harness, as you can see. I have one in my hand here, and uh, it's, it's the two closest, shortest, um, so the, most, the easiest to access now that you have your uh, ECU mounted underneath your dash. So we're gonna go ahead and hook these up, make these wire connections, plug in our, uh, our buzzer here and mount it wherever you feel like. Um, obviously, the more you hide it, the less you hear it, so keep that in mind as you're installing. Um, so we'll get that taken care of, and then we'll be re ready for a test drive.